Hey there, I'm Rui Israel, and I'm here at Sammy's Camera in Santa Ana with the Canon RF 14-35mm f4 lens. So I recently went out to Arizona and Utah on a scouting trip because I'm putting together a new workshop for the photo school. I direct the photo school here at Sammy's and this lens came through fantastically and I just want to take a few minutes to tell you about my experience with this 14-35mm to lens. Back in June of this year, Canon announced the release of the RF 14-35mm f4 lens. This lens now provides full-frame EOS R users with an ultra-wide angle coverage. After spending a lot of time shooting with this lens, I wanted to point out the features that stood out to me the most. First, I want to just start with the focal length. So we're often familiar with a 15 to 35 or 16 to 35, but Canon decided to go with the focal length of 14 millimeters. That technically makes this an ultra wide angle lens. And numerically speaking, the difference between 14, 15, and 16 may not sound like much, but at the low end of the scale, each additional millimeter has a pronounced effect on the field of view. I found that this really had an impact when I was down in the slot canyons. I went to Upper Antelope Canyon and I needed that wide angle lens to capture the effect of those beautiful smooth surfaces of the canyon and when you're focusing up at the top of the canyon you really want to get as much as you can in your field of view and this performed beautifully in that aspect. So if you're looking for a lens for your camera bag and you're debating on what to get just keep in mind that this 14 and 35 covers the broadest range of any focal lengths that Canon is currently offering in the RF family. So that's a really nice option to have. Another standout feature of this lens is that the 14 to 35 millimeter is flat in the front. And so it can accept a standard 77 millimeter thread circular filter. This feature is really unusual and kind of exciting because typically when you get these wide angle lenses, the front is usually bulbous and can't accept a circular filter. So traditionally these circular filters have been incompatible with these full frame wide angle lenses, but that's not the case with this lens and it's super exciting. Canon has built this lens with 5.5 stops of stabilization, which can be turned on and off here at the base of the lens. And when you use this lens with either the R5 or the R6, you can get up to seven stops of stabilization. I found the image stabilization really came into play when I was shooting up in the slot canyons. When you tour Antelope Canyon these days, you cannot bring a tripod, you can't bring a bag, and so you really have to just be hand-holding your camera and shooting and the image stabilization came into play when I had to shoot in really slow shutter speeds. The autofocus on this lens is super quick. Focusing feels confident, it rarely hunts or has problems locking in on the subject as long as it's 7.9 inches away. I was out at the coral pink sand dunes in Kanab, Utah and found a really beautiful yellow flowering bush. It was full of bees, some normal small bees and some really big large black bees and I thought it might be a perfect opportunity to test out the focusing capabilities of the lens. So I took it over there and thankfully didn't get stung but I got super super close to those bees and just when I thought I couldn't get any closer I got even closer and almost felt like it was a macro lens which was phenomenal and when I was looking at my photos after Afterwards, they just came out so great, so in focus, and it really blew me away. One thing you hear about a lot lately is how light and small the new lenses are, especially the ones for mirrorless cameras, but this one really is light and small. It weighs only 1.2 pounds and feels really compact. It extends fully when it's at 14 millimeters, and again, when it's at 35 millimeters. It's most compact when it's at 22 millimeters. From start to finish on this trip, the versatility of this lens really stood out. As we were approaching Page, Utah, we found this abandoned motel that was covered in beautiful graffiti murals, and I took that lens out, and it performed exceedingly well, and the lens from then on didn't disappoint as I took it into the slot canyons and was able to capture really low light images that remained sharp. We also took it out to do some astrophotography last minute and captured phenomenal shots of the Milky Way. Inside the lens, there are 16 elements in 12 groups. 
The Aperture uses nine circular blades, which can still produce a nice sun star. So if you're interested in a new wide angle lens for your kit, and you like to shoot landscape, architecture, street, or just general travel, I highly recommend the Canon RF 14 to 35 millimeter. So come into one of your Southern California Sammy's camera locations or visit us online at sammys.com because at Sammy's, we're so much more than a camera store.